Hi, I'm Ryan from eStudio Star, and today we'll be going over a basic passive PA setup using the DBX Drive Rack PA Plus for speaker management. I will also be showing you how to mono bridge your NL4 cable to use your amp in mono bridge mode without a banana clip. We'll first start with our speakers. For tops, we'll be using the JBL PRX 415M 15 inch two way loudspeakers. And for a sub, we'll be using the JBL PRX 418S 18 inch subwoofer. JBL is world renowned for their exceptional quality and reliability. They test their speakers for 100 hours, leaving you with accurate specs. Unlike the calculated specs of other manufacturers who only test for 8 hours. The PRX415M has a second speaker stand socket, allowing you to mount the speaker with a 10 degree down angle and use a sonic guard to protect the high frequency driver from excess power without interrupting the performance. For amps, we'll be using one Crown XDI 2002 and one Crown XCI 4002. Since both of these manufacturers are part of the Harman family of professional audio companies, the Crown XCI 2 series offer enhanced performance tuning as a preset for the JBL speakers. You might be asking yourself why we chose these amps in particular. Well, let's look at the specs. The PRX415M has a program power rating of 600 watts. This is the ideal amount of power to be given to the speaker from the amp. The Crown XTI 4002 gives 650 watts stereo per channel at 8 ohms. This will work for our tops. The PRX618S has a program power rating of 1600 watts. The Crown XTI 2002 gives 1600 watts bridged at 8 ohms, giving us the perfect amount of power. A normal NL4 is run plus 1, minus 1. To change this to a mono bridge cable, we are going to have to take out the minus 1 and switch it over to the plus 2. You can start by taking off this protective cover. We will have to locate the cable connected to the minus one terminal. We will then remove this cable. I like to tighten up the copper a little bit to make sure that the cable will fit nicely into the next terminal. Put the cable into the plus two terminal and clamp down tightly. We have now successfully turned this regular NL4 cable into a mono bridge cable which will allow you to use both channels of your amp simultaneously. This is a DBX Drive Rack PA Plus which is a loudspeaker management system. This includes everything you'll need to manage your front of house system. We will look further into this unit in our follow up video. To set this all up we're going to have to look into our signal flow. First we're going to start with the mixer. We're going to run stereo left and right out of the mixer into the PA Plus. With the PA Plus being a crossover it gives us separate channels for lows, highs, and mids. For our high channel, we're going to run stereo left and right out of the PA Plus into our Crown XTI 4002 channel 1 and 2. For the lows, we're going to run a mono signal out to the Crown XTI 2002 channel 1. Coming out of the Crown XTI 4002, we're going to be using our channel 1 for our left speaker and our channel 2 for our right speaker. Out of the Crown XTI 2002, we'll be using one mono send to our sub. And that's all you need to know about a basic passive PA setup. Check out our follow-up video where we will further outline the setup of the Drive Rack PA Plus. If you have any questions, visit us at www.estudiostar.com.